All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Skip and Loafer, Loafer, episode 12. 12. All right. Final episode of the season. And this show better get a second season, god yeah, damn it. it. We need it. We need it now. Otherwise, I'm need just going to go and fucking read the manga because this I is just, I, it's, this it's so, is so, so freaking wholesome. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy. I just, yeah, I my heart. I, my, my, heart. my fucking heart. And now uh, Shima's heart because, oh boy. These two ladies are coming into his situation mm -hmm. when he's just done the play and we're going to do another probably showing of it for the next day. And, oh, I'm, ah, 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 he ah. may have a car crash coming for him, but damn it, he has so many pillows piled up around him. That's that, true. That it, That's true. It's going to be just fine. So many, it's, so many pillows. It is, it is going to, the, he's going to be so fine with like after everything that happens that it's gonna be like oh shit it's gonna be like a whole other pillow wrapped around him yeah fuck it let's just of, knock him out of here let's just yeah let's, yeah let's exactly just make her just right. friends with everybody yep, let's just yep. let's just disarm her entirely with she's floof. gonna try and dig her claws into him and she's just gonna be like wait but it's this squish so comfy. hang on I, this is so oh comfy. this is nice this wait is nice. i missed this what, hmm. what the hell and then okay. just tears and then she apologizes no or, that's probably or, not gonna or, happen or but Bug. It's not like I. Yeah, right, exactly. And then Gashira was like, first time. You know? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. You get used to it. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> Higashira, Higashira is the one that's like, and don't come back until yeah, yeah. you've worked that shit out, all right? Until you spend some time with Now Chan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I want Igashira to be the the, the um <laughs> the the goodbye or the or the the bouncer the first at the door. Wall. Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. Uh huh. Yeah, but y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Mm. Hello. Ah. Mm. <sighs> oh. oh. It's happening again. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 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 what a powerful aura. Yeah. Hey, he was just there. Yeah。おばさん。おばさん。Yeah。Yeah。<笑> Whoa. All right. See, but this all is right. why we need all the different walls and pillows and layers of So protection. you have chosen death. <laughs> 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 hmm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yes. Yes. What's your antidote? Ah, Ridika is just a lesser That's antidote. Cute. Oh, where's the anti? Please have him call Rika that. Ah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> yes, everybody's here though. Oh. Yeah, it's just gonna get dropped. Like. Uh, 
それすごくないなんでドラマ検索してもいいいやちょっと恥ずかしいおいそろそろ yeah, 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 nice. good friend good friend good right、move. there But that is a good point that does also make this a perfect storm for, for him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because she doesn't, she doesn't feel like she can be there、yeah. to watch it. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep.、Mm -hmm. yep. And because she's dealt with this more, she knows. But she saw that. She recognized it. Yeah. Yeah! 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 She's yeah, doing the, the she's little antenna thing. She's literally doing the thing. I'm gonna make myself look bigger.、Uh -huh. I'm a terrifying beast. Back the fuck up. <laughs> oh, right. She didn't even mean, like, She didn't know the connection, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Get fucked, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Just being a little shit. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, mm -hmm. it can be, yeah. 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 Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> it got you to laugh. So, yeah, I don't know what the pose、right. is. <sighs> Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, ah, <laughs> you still、yeah. have to stand. Come, Sama, can't touch my. But I see what I got to get ice kids. Utah, that they do. I don't know. Could see Kotomo was it a little. You shall say, say, you were scattered at the back of the skittle. But that's Kono Gumbate Gumbaro. また自分のために演じさせるのかっておばさんに母さんが喜ぶからやってた俺が俺のためになればいいってことうん Your choice みんな喜ぶくせにうん<笑><笑>Shit. That's what I want. Yep.
That was great. Mm-hmm. It's like an alternate ending mm-hmm. that we only got to see that day. Yep. 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 Hmm. People are going to be like, we saw something like really special there. Yeah. And it's a classic, so everybody knows that that's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Classic manipulator tactic. Try to walk away like you need to. But he's there for interference. あのさ、ビリタ。ずっと考えてたんだけど。俺はさ、ビリカに償いきれないことをしたと思う。本当に。でも。でも。いや。ちょに落ちようみたいな破滅的なことはもうやりたくない。ビリカが前向くためのことだ
たのに。いや、生徒会長。いや。別に、選挙の結果だから。そりゃそうだ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。That's a nice little thing.、Mm-hmm. It's not、yep. a lot, but、yep. it's a tiny little thing.、Mm-hmm. Little bit of kindness. Yep. Same principle. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Oh,、hmm. yeah. I'd like to be your little brother. よし、うん、めちゃよかった。よし、よし、よし、よし。Definitely do that. Clean up. Meets me, Fito. Oh. Oh. Oh.、Hmm. Hello, hello. Oh. We.、Oui. Yeah. Slows down and then. I'll walk with you. But he runs off. Yeah, the squiggle, the squiggle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We get to actually meet him. Mm hmm. Mm. As if the music is excited.、Up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah.、Mm. All right, all right. Now, one last one. Yes, you do. Oh, I fucking love this show! I love this show! Dude, I, I, it's over! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> What are we supposed、ah. to do?
least the new anime season has started, you know? Mm -hmm. So, ah, just like water enriching the desert soil, this yep. show alights upon <laughs> my heart right. and just makes me feel wonderful. Uh, oh. I like, this is, it's just, I, I, I love it. I, I love it. it. I love and it. I love and it so it's much. over, but damn it, it's not over. But if it is, you know, then this yeah, is still apparently the a manga's beautiful, still going chapter. strong, mm -hmm. and you know, yep. there's yep. there's plenty to do a second season with probably. But it's also just one <sighs> of those things where they probably need to wait and see if there's any way that they can right. make their money back off all of the, the anime and all that. Exactly, all the usual you know problems and issues that you know would come with something like this. But goddamn, we got something incredible here. We got like, something really this was, really good here. I, I love how this ended. I liked the fact that. Um, Ridika actually made the mom leave. Like that's like having that it's bit an actual of, consequence, you know. Yeah, an actual consequence, right? Like because then that got to be passed along to Shima as like a yeah. she did that shit. Yes. Like, right. Like like she did that. That's something that did happen, right? Mm -hmm. Um just because Ridika might start to have a change of heart right. here, that doesn't mean that the nastiness that she has um enacted and displayed and everything mm -hmm. um you know, it's just, oh, hey, that didn't actually cause any hurt after all. Or right, whatever, right. Right. Like, like she actually has to deal with that, you yep. know. So cool. Mm -hmm. um, and that also means that we were able to have a more focused episode in the, we were. hey, we, we were. don't necessarily have to deal with that whole mom thing yet, even though we understand what was at well play there. Said. Well so said. it's a good touchstone and like, like stepping, like stepping stone with that progression, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be the main focus. Right. Cool. Um, I, I like that. I like that that was something that also then made him start to question things because it's the, oh, did I actually want her there? Mm -hmm. Aren't we the same, though? Huh. Wait, actually, no. There's that little bit of her own passion within me that is the kind of thing that makes me uncomfortable. What? Why is right. that? What? Oh, mm -hmm. right. The yeah. idea of what, you know, Kanachika or, uh, or Karamatsu was saying of, like, goals and then mm -hmm. the ways in which you want to then uh, uh, kind of seek right. people that will encourage that but I also kind of chose not to encourage him in that space there was mm -hmm. that because I didn't like that kind of energy yeah. and not wanting to attach myself to that is it is it actually that big of a deal that you make yourself goal oriented or mm -hmm. can't that be a curse also right and the distinction between like you know goals being a a supporting tool to help mm. you um, understand and stick with your wants right versus um, something that supersedes them and then you know changes your wants themselves right, right. Where, kind of warps your yeah because it's both in a lot of ways like sure like you can look at it from both perspectives and in some ways it's yes and it's the it's the yes it, it, it applies right. to both of them and there are times when you make sacrifices for your goal and you actually like put mm -hmm. aside a thing and you go hey we can't really do the school sleepover thing without all right. the studying stuff and they're like no no reality shut the fuck up you know yeah, yeah. and then they're okay, like well so we can make it a study, study sleepover. sleepover and then it's the okay now is there actually are you actually going to get studying right, right, that right. sleepover that, you know yeah right like or is that i give you the first... sleepover you guys actually help me study mm, like, you're right right actually doing here but the idea of the you know the with the whole goal thing yeah you like you, you move towards the goal because that's what you truly want. Mm -hmm. You put aside the other things because when it comes right down to it, I do want to do that. That might be something that's difficult to do, but that's what I want. It might be difficult to confront mm -hmm. Ririka. It might yeah. be difficult for Ririka to accept what he said. True. It might be difficult True. for him to... Um, uh, you know, be woken up in the middle of the night to help her, you know, if she's vet needs to vent or something, right? right? You know, yeah, but that's what they end up wanting, right? Yes. And so, like, we're getting to see this, um, this look into adolescence, right? That is definitely idyllic, but that doesn't mean that it's false, right? Right, we're getting to see the ways in which all of these characters go after their wants and get re rewarded for it, right? Indeed. Like, you know, we're we don't have to deal as much with the characters having more of what, say, the mom had this episode of the, oh, shit, you know, she said something to me that did get under my skin. I don't know what to do about that. And then she leaves, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we can kind of leave that to the adults in a lot of ways or, you know, have it be dealt with in the, in the same episode so that we can still get it capitulated on and have that warm, fuzzy feeling. But the 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 pursuing of this, right, where, like, being in that time of life where everything is so much simpler... Mm. that's isn't that why it's precious because then we can then 
focus on what it what is it that we want you know right right like we don't have to deal with as many of the distractions and demands of just life society etc you know right we can get caught up in a whirlwind of a specific event or thing that does have our passion and stuff mm -hmm. but ultimately we're gonna spill out the other side of it just kind of going wow that was fun okay on to the next fun thing you know it's gonna be okay it's gonna be great so yeah the friends make the process even more you know yep. wonderful gives us that that classic good anime feeling in that regard mm -hmm. with the art the music and everything but then also just having Jima have you know Sosuke have this really cool kind of decision that he mm -hmm. makes of hey hey I get it Ririka yep but this is what I want mm -hmm. and in some ways I'm giving you that little bit of power here to basically be like is this going to be a problem yeah because this is what I want you know this but I'm putting the ball in your court to instead of trying to manipulate me into making a decision for you, mm -hmm. do you want me to not be happy? Like, right. Like, I like it because what he's kind of saying is, I don't care really what you want, but mm -hmm. I'm letting you know what I want. There's a vulnerability in it that Sosuke or just, it just doesn't really have throughout the rest of the show up until mm -hmm. now. Right. Hence why then afterwards he becomes like a kid right? right you know he he starts he, showing who he, he really is he smiles wide and it's and it's a, a real deep smile he starts running places he has you his know? goofier side he yeah. has his like squirmy nervous side as right. well right he, he throws the arm around uh uh the uh kento yeah yeah, yeah. you know because kenti now yes yes right because why not yes they know his secret the, you know, all the things that he didn't want to have that happen. That he dreaded. That he dreaded. It happened. It happened here. Yeah. Oh, hey, guess what? You got to a play. You played, you did it yeah. twice. Right, right, right. Not only that, you did it while other people in the audience knew that you were a child actor. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you even did it wrong. You even saw your mom again in the context of you about to act again. Uh-huh, Then, uh -huh. then Ririka yep. came in and yep. threw her shit on the wall But god as damn well. it, you've got meat to me doing the... <laughs> meat to me, like, 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 the pose was so that was, fucking good. That was And the so... fact that she didn't see that, yeah. she, did, she didn't nope, know what she was nope. doing. It's just it a just, primal instinctual... Yeah, she's just be like, ah. hmm. Yes, yeah, right. Like, is she, like, channeling Mr. Like, Two here? Like, like, well, like, it's the... It, and I love, like, the, the, the comedic bit that also has a serious connotation ah, of right. um ah she's this you know like uh Ridica is this like you know cat that's like you know this, this, this predator this predator that yes. comes in right and it's just like oh I'm just a little mouse I I'm need to make myself small all. I'm scared I'm you know all that stuff right and yet at the same time it's like wait a minute I smell some bullshit here yeah, yeah, yeah. something's fishy you know right yeah, yeah. wait is he your target? <gasps> yeah, right. Like, <laughs> love that. I love it. And she's and she's doing it like because it's the it's the all the um, uh, city life, social ineptitude, shall we say that right. what, that she's had to deal with and you know and mm -hmm. wrestle with because she's the girl from the tiny little hick town, right? Mm -hmm. And yet she has learned a lot of things, right? So we we both believe this from the capabilities standpoint yes. that she would be able to recognize it, know, have something that she can actually do of being like, oh, if you don't want to end up standing, you know, you should get in line because it's right. a big line. So you should leave, you know. Yeah. <laughs> scoot, scoot, little bitch. You know? Right, right, exactly. Without actually saying leave, yeah. you know, right? And and that's something that is, it's both a wonderful callback to all of, like, the journey that this show has been, mm -hmm. while at the same time still showcasing that she is very different from a lot of the people yeah. here still, right? <laughs> Nobody could have expected this. Nobody could have expected that, you know, and <laughs> even though we kind of expected it. <laughs> right, well, because that's the kind of person that she is. Yeah, yeah. But that just goes to show that the, um, Oh God, I, I don't want to say this because it's such a cliched line, mm -hmm. but the outside is not what matters. And right. when I say that, I don't mean it the way it's usually used. Yes. The outside is not indicative of what's actually on the inside, and it is also not indicative to what is necessarily going to be helpful or appreciated to somebody else. Right. Right? Yuzuki 
ends up being able to get along great with Makoto because Makoto is not the way that a lot of other people were, right? Yeah. And it gets to the point where then, oh, hey, they're able to get along just fine, and it's yeah. fantastic, right? Yeah. In a similar way, Mitsumi is not the way that other people are, right? Yeah. Igasho notices this, Rika certainly notices this, even the mom noticed this, right? Mm -hmm. And then, oh, hey, Suddenly she's there, she does her thing that a lot of people would be embarrassed as hell to do and yeah. be like, that's not even going to help. What the, what the fuck, you <laughs> what know? What are you doing? And yeah, yet, yeah. in this situation, god damn it, that might be just what was needed. It might have been, like, almost... Perfectly. Uh, narratively convenient to the point of, like, wait, that right. is, that is like, some... Like, that's, that's the kind of shit that Ririka can't counter because... The, Huh? It does true damage. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> it, it, does, it does psychic damage. You know, she's just like, I... Oh. You're communicating what you're getting at here, but because you're so just barely participating in the game that I play, right, right, <laughs> but don't, but just barely, just right, barely, yeah. Like, and and in the part where you're not, you're so completely different. I don't. Uh -huh. There's not a whole lot I can do to deal with that, right? <laughs> like it's disarming, yep. you know. And so, yeah, she wins. She leaves. Yep. Ah, oh, I, I was oh, love that, this show. That was absolutely incredible. And, and Sosuke, who's just been trying to figure out, like, mm -hmm. how do I stand up for myself right, in a way that doesn't fall into the perceptions of Ririka calling me, like, a narcissist and all these other things yeah. that are this horrible person that I believe I, I could have been sure. by not, you know, emphasizing things or because he remembers what actually happened. But he still goes, wait, but I still ended up letting her come with me, you know? Right. Like, I still feel guilty about all that stuff. Not mm -hmm. not just because of her guilt tripping him, but because of what actually happened in oh, his yeah. perspective Oh, yeah. The, the real it. consequences that they both had to deal with. Right. And that, I'm, I'm, I, I love that that was how it ended up being. Because um, with, like, originally I was thinking that it would be something where maybe he wasn't in tune with her desires for things or her comfort levels. And so he was like, hey, come along. And that, sure. and that maybe the... You know, uh, him realizing that Mitsumi was getting really hot, actually, when they were at the zoo is sort of indicative of that shift, you yeah. know? Yeah. But no, it's actually that he was like, you don't have to come along. Mm. And she did. And that's like, it's so completely like, not your fault, my guy. But when somebody is guilt tripping you, when there are things where you're mm. like, oh, but I could have maybe done something better. I could have, yep. could have, would have, should have, yada, 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 right? Because real pain did end up getting experienced, not just by you. Yeah. That is how disconnected from reality it can get where you start to blame yourself for things that really you shouldn't be blaming yourself for, mm -hmm. right? And I, I I, love that. I love what Chris, like the position that Chris occupies in this story yeah. where he doesn't have a lot of personal conflicts that he's dealing with really. Like he's, you know, he's just sort of there, but... <laughs> But he's that he's that little bit of just that that sounding board or the rails for when these interactions end up getting to the point where the characters realistically won't be able to recognize those things themselves. Right, that's his conflict is finding out like, hey, Sosuke, you're being kind of a dumbass right now. You're right, right, exactly. Or like, hey, you have some points, Rika, but like, you don't need to guilt trip him. And also, like, you are kind of lying about the middle school, right? Middle school you know, thing. Like, like you you didn't have work. That's so. that's that's part of what the pain and issue was, right? Yeah, like, yeah. That, don't try to don't try to add little little yeah. things into the story yeah. here to make yourself feel better. Pick here. pick what Face it is reality. because you can't have both of those things. Right, right, you know? right. <laughs> you kept me from getting any work, and I had a terrible time in middle school because I had too much work. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I I I love that Ririka was defeated here. I love mm -hmm. even more the idea that Sosuke won here by then yes. being able to act for the moment in which he was stun locked, mm -hmm. you know, right behind the stage, then producing that really beautiful moment where he kind of lowers the gun. And that's kind of the alternate ending yep. kind of thing of, hey, you'll never be one of them. And it's the oh, right. I mm -hmm. can be myself. I don't need to be just yep. the one that's subsumed into the nameless, faceless horde of people that right. just please External others for, the, pressure, sake, you for know. the sake of like yeah. you know, making things easy for you. Yep. I can do things that are a little bit counter to that. And right. thus he takes the character that's being swept up in that mm -hmm. thing in the story there and you know, life imitates art and he lowers, you right. know, 
Yeah, uh, he, the tool that he had been a, had been using so you well, know right and liberally. it's both both from the standpoint of of within the character, but then also as an actor in the play, right? Mm -hmm. That's something that could theoretically upset people because you're taking this thing that you've all worked so hard for and doing something different that then could theoretically throw everybody else off too, right? Which thankfully you know? it's the very end of the play, so it yeah, doesn't so it really doesn't, matter. It doesn't but... change things too much, you yeah. know, right? His his scene partner is able to be like. Sort of ah okay this I is just it. this yeah. is going different I guess and then he leaves you right, know right? right and then hey there you go magic happened yeah. you know um, but yeah right. this that was that was wonderful and I'm I'm so happy that we got a situation of a guy in anime being emotionally stood up for and yes. protected yes. by somebody else I love that I love that so There's much. There's a lot of things about of this anime that show that they understand the modern audience in a yes. way that is not just pandering or i would say uh checking boxes on a checklist right this is something where there's thought mm -hmm. there's heart mm -hmm. and there's creativity put into it i like echo what you're saying exactly but i just say there's a there's a nice i'd say broad stroking like two thumbs up to be mm -hmm. given to this anime for the way that's done with the side characters yes for the way that's done with like the, yeah, the, the relationships as a mm -hmm. whole, the, right? Like communication, the conflicts, yep, yep, like all, all of those things, all of those things. But I'm I'm glad that you mentioned the side characters first because mm -hmm. I feel like that's the biggest I would say praise. I would yeah, say, because like if if you have a show with great main characters, fantastic. You Wonderful. kind of need that, you yeah. know. Or you have a show that knows its target audience, mm -hmm. right? Great. Mm -hmm. But if you can expand that to beyond the target audience, or if right. you can make it so that it's not just the main characters that, but the supporting cast as well and the care that we have for these side yeah. characters it's it, it, yeah. it almost feels unreasonable for the fact that it this does. is a one core show right it does I, my longer than six months you my know? favorite character of the side characters is easily Igashira like I oh, love yeah. how much she was used mm -hmm. in the story here and I, I love the way in which she was brought in with that episode with Nao Chen for yep. the zoo bit and then ended oh, up yeah. kind of getting uh, kind of re-put back into orbit with everybody else mm -hmm. um, with the sleepover. I love, love Yuzuki. Oh mm -hmm. my God. Yep. She's wonderful. Like she is, wonderful she is absolutely character. delightful. Like, I feel like I've seen so many stories take, like make an attempt at the Yuzuki archetype mm -hmm. and she feels so entirely different than any of that. Like I think you said it a while ago in like another before. reaction. You mentioned that it's the kind of thing where most people just say or tell that character's mm -hmm. you know experience, but they don't actually show it. Right, we feel the emotional plight. While that, we do have the, oh, the middle school stuff is just being told, they still go and show it in the moment mm -hmm. here yep. rather than just being like, oh, it's well, not a thing anymore, so therefore mm -hmm. we'll just not show it. Right, yeah. and and the uh, um, oh dang. Well, just to go Mind on to, to another character here, uh -huh. Makoto is another character that I absolutely love because wow, she could absolutely be the character that's just there to give one-liners and mm -hmm. little things and stuff. The way in which she genuinely is also a friend to Yuzuki. It's yes. not just Yuzuki deigning to be a friend no. with the girl that's more plain like, and yeah, you it's know, it's the glasses girl and actively stuff. actively complimentary rather yes. like you know there's it's not the, it's like the, <laughs> it's not an imbalanced relationship right and this is often yeah. talked about within within the guards of regards of romance right yes. but you need that for friendships too yes. you don't want to you complete me it's mm -hmm. the ah we. Cover for each other, right. and it's great. Yeah. And the other thing that I gotta say, this this was what I was thinking of earlier, and it's a little thing that this show does, or rather doesn't do, that I think is one of the things that helps me enjoy the side characters so much. When the side characters are not needed in the scene, they are not often present in the scene. Mm -hmm. And so many times I feel like when you have these great casts of side characters, it ends up getting bogged down, both yep. in the bloating of the time of things, yep. but then also in my enjoyment of the side characters, because they have to do their shtick, they have to do their little thing to say, hey, we remember this character, they're As there. expected of As expected so of so-and-so, so -and -so, right? Igashira, like you said, yeah, probably my favorite of the side characters too. She wasn't really present in this episode. Because she didn't need to be, nope. right? Like, and and so it's just like, hey, there you go, right? Yeah. And because of that, then whenever we do see these characters, whenever they do open their mouths and say something, we are just that much more excited, that much more like like 
fully prepped for the awesome things that then they do with the characters. Right. One of the things that I think maybe is because of some some of these anime being mm-hmm. adapted from a manga perspective here, there's a little bit of not there's not a lot of respect I would say for the fact that in a panel you can just glance over it really quickly, but in an anime it's a part of a scene and every part of a scene has to be actually like there has to be a reason for it to be there. Sure. And I I love what you're saying in that just announcing I am here as well Mm -hmm. is not worthwhile just to say, you know, as a part of a scene. If a character doesn't have anything to contribute to a scene, then don't show them or don't even let them speak. Just... They're there. They're nothing to give. Or, so, or maybe they're not even there. Maybe they're that's doing what their I'm own saying. thing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But but basically, with this story, every character, because they do a very clever thing of going around to different sections of the school, mm-hmm. we don't actually know the boys as much because they're not relevant as much for the story no, here. No, but they might start to because guess what? Sosuke is now actually making friends. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's fantastic. Right. Great. I love it. You know, and the ways in which we get to know them mm-hmm. might be different because the um, the emotional journey and sort of plight of uh, Mitsumi as mm-hmm. she is integrating into the school where things are so different with regards to the social cues and things like that. Right. Then there's a lot of direct relevance to that with yes. the, the side characters that she becomes friends with. Cool. Yeah. That might be something different for Sosuke. And so the kinds of things that we get from them might also be very different. Right can be who knows i don't know but i'm excited i mean like i i love everything that we got from this show um mm-hmm. and i just i i want it to just keep on going i want to just keep on going you know? but that's just that's just not how life works yeah there are times we have to wait for you know your show to get a reboot that comes about mm-hmm. on uh, april 1st you know yeah. after like 10 years or whatever right. it's been uh, to 15 yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly and sometimes uh you know sometimes you just have to read the manga or sometimes mm-hmm. Even if you do get it to continue, hey, guess what? These uh, characters' time in high school will end. So, you know, at the very least, that... The series will end. The series will end, you know. But, I just... Wonderful stuff. That's great. And y'all, thank you so much for watching Mm -hmm. this series reactions and discussions. Um, If you want to see the next show's reaction, discussion, or first episode of whatever that's going to be right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're a semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.